Good evening everybody, Kimosabi here, coming at you with another video. This one's off of Expand Your Consciousness webpage, uh, right up by the admin off of that site, with the topic of France becomes first country in Europe to ban all five pesticides killing bees. France has taken a radical step towards protecting its dwindling bee population by becoming the first country in Europe to ban all five pesticides researchers believe are killing off the insects. The ban has been met with applause of beekeepers and harsh criticisms by farmers. Nanotinoid pesticides, sometimes called neonics, have been found to pose a risk to wild bees and honeybees according to the assessment released by the European Food Safety Authority, EFSA, in early 2018, EFSA's review of a substantial amount of data found that in many cases, bees foraging on the treated crop in the field as well as in its vicinity are likely to be exposed to harmful levels of nanotinoid pesticides. This is because pollen and nectar of the treated crop contain pesticide residues and plants in the vicinity can also be contaminated by dust drifting away from that particular field. France's ban covers all five of the neonic pesticides used by farmers Clothidian, Iamin de Cloprid, Thamthoxum, Thiacloprid, and Acetamaprid. No idea if I'm pronouncing those correctly. The ban covers use in agricultural fields as well as use of greenhouses. This move is more comprehensive than the European Union's late 2018 ban of three of the pesticides. These bans respond, respond to the evidence that pesticides are contributing to colony collapse disorder and that has seen bee populations decline by 90% in some areas. Bee colonies also battle threats from mites and viruses and fungi. Neonics get their name from their base chemistry that is similar to nicotine they are what's known as a sim systemic pesticide often used as a seed treatment that travels through a plant's vascular system finding its way into all plant tissue including nectar and pollen According to the National Research Council, about three-quarters of the more than 240,000 species of the world's falling plants rely on pollinators, insects, birds, bats, and other animals to various degrees to carry pollen from the male to the female parts of the flowers for reproduction. Pollinators are vital to agriculture because most fruit, vegetables, seed crops, and other crops that provide fiber, drugs, and fuel are pollinated by animals. Bee pollinated forage and hay crops such as alfalfa and clover, also are used to feed the animals that supply meat and dairy products. The Telegraph reports that the United Nations has warned that 40% of the invertebrate pollinators, especially bees and butterflies, risk global extinction. Here's an excellent video on how pesticides are causing colony collapse in bees and effects of chemicals and fracking. Uh, we're just not going to worry about that though. What can home gardeners do to avoid nanotoids? Researchers from Ohio State University suggest that while much attention focuses on agricultural use of pesticides, it is also important to reduce risk to pollinators in urban settings. This is especially true as the interface between urban and rural environments become ambiguous. A first line of defense on behalf of bees is to buy organic seeds from home gardeners who use starter plants. It is important to find out if they have been treated with neonics. Ask the staff in the garden department of any place you buy starter plants whether they were treated with neonics. Home Depot pledged to phase out the use of neonics on plants they sell by the end of 2018. Lowy's have pledged a similar ban by 2019. Michigan State University's Agricultural Extension Service offers this advice. If you purchase perennials and flowering trees, remove the flowers during the first summer after planting. Also, when you bring home new plants, you can flush some nanocanoid residue that is 
not tightly bound to the organic matter in soil by running water in plant containers for 10 minutes after the first water emerges through bottom holes. Avoid spraying insecticides in the yard and garden. Never spray flower blossoms. Instead, use insecticidal soaps. Hopefully, you enjoy the write-up, everybody. be awesome if you leave me with some comments. And great if you subscribe. Keep on out, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.